All right, 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 all right. Today is July 6, 2020, and we have a very, very highly requested career simulation of a very, very famous just person. Forget NBA player. I almost barely want to introduce him. We know who the hell this is. Shaquille O'Neal, the glass cleaning finisher out of LSU, 7'1 and 325 pounds. He has decided, well, um, like 10 years after his retirement, to just completely reverse back in age to 19 and re-enter the draft because why the hell not it's a video game for god's sake but here we are and while um i can assure you that Shaq is the best player in the draft i don't know why he's ranked fifth i actually stopped the draft lottery to see who would get the first pick just because i know he's probably gonna go first i don't i don't know what the hell's going on can i show you how much of an important occasion this is though so i'm on pc i i do these on pc because the simulating is a lot faster but i've been exploring mods recently and as you can see maybe you noticed but um i installed a Shaq. now look i'm gonna put up this shack from you know like actual 2k he's hideous and just to make it even better um he, he looks insane i don't know if he looks like this in the regular 2k but i feel like he doesn't he, he looks like he's going to end you this is the official shack from the 92 draft class i will admit the only thing i did change is i gave him a couple more badges they're really sleeping on shack oh okay so obviously one of the big quote unquote what ifs about shack is how is he going to perform in the modern day nba with you know not being able to shoot and well uh they say a very limited range should never take mid-range shot wow not even mid-range shots i mean i get it Let's do the lottery, all right? So, skip to lottery results. The Thunder, Pacers, Pelicans, Wizards, Knicks. That's the order. He can go anywhere. The 2020 NBA Draft. The first pick, the OKC Thunder. James Wiseman, seven-foot center from Memphis. Well, kind of from Memphis since he left. Okay, um, Indiana Pacers on the clock, and the Pacers select LaMelo. The third pick in the draft. The New Orleans Pelicans are on the clock, and they select Anthony Edwards. Shaq is still on the clock at number four four well not on the clock you know what i mean and the wizards select shaquille o'neal from lsu here we go shaquille o'neal showed his rebounding prowess by pulling down 16 rebounds per game all right we don't care about the rest like i said though i know this guy is the best player in the draft he's Shaq for god's sake he's an 84 overall man the boo birds were out in full force when the wizards selected Shaq. the boo birds the hell is a boo bird who's the first player ranked in bench press i would hope so oh here we go Shaq m NBA player comparison ceiling Patrick Ewing Hall of Fame. All right, I don't know if I'll cut out the video, but earlier it was saying something else like Rudy Gobert. But this, this is just showing that the draft, all these uh, teams messed up. How the hell you let Shaq slip to four? And there's anyone Shaq would want to get compared to aside from himself? I feel like he would say Ewing. He praises the hell out of Ewing. So I did add a couple badges to Shaq, but that was really it because they disrespected the hell out of his badges for a guy who had an incredible rookie season. I believe he averaged 23, 13, and almost four blocks. But he still had a couple of these Hall of Fame badges, but I mean, I added on a back down punisher and rebound chaser he didn't have rebound chaser at all which i found was just insane are you gonna average 13 rebounds a game in your rookie season you don't get rebound chaser well you get the gist of it he's Shaq for god's sake so uh it's been a while at least since we've had a player drafted for washington who the hell is on the wizards i don't know they could have signed someone they could have made a trade for like i don't know ennis Cantor. you know blockbuster our new washington team by the way Shaq didn't progress before his rookie season i just upped his rebound to an 81 yeah it's really just the wizards oh james nunnally's here too Season number one. Shaq starting with 34 minutes a game. Look at him. He's scary and he's on my computer screen. I just look behind me and Shaq is just there. Sorry, Thomas Bryant. Your run at center is over. Oh my God. Why do we have so many centers? Shaq's first ever game in the NBA. 31 points, 15 rebounds. His fourth game. One freight from the line. Oh God. Well, uh, this should be fun. Well, uh, can we get all-star Shaq first? I mean, it's possible. Nope. Usually I just point out how Yusuf Nurkic makes the all-star team, but how did him and Hassan make it? Be honest, is pretty good. This is kind of who Shaq said he would be if he was in the modern day nba so uh, instead though we just have Shaq in the modern day nba rookie of the year i'm waiting for you to you know get those numbers up even more especially the field goal percentage what the hell are you doing 46 percent they got you out of there in the three-point line actually no they really don't because you shot zero percent i would assume you would have made at least one feeling sky high after being named to the whole rookie team i hope it leads to a long and flourishing career in the nba great great job Shaq. i, lo I love the words very early media training oh yeah so he shot no threes but he did miss over 200 free throws it's still early but getting kind of locked up inside and he's really only shooting inside interesting development here league sources tell espn we'll see what happens oh, i didn't fix the jersey thing when they put them in their original jerseys the yeah, Kawhi saw on the clippers it has something to do with the mods i don't know i screwed something up i'll fix it eventually well they didn't make an all nba team because uh yeah these three guys are pretty good the seven c with 39 wins is actually uh, i didn't think we we're gonna make the playoffs i mean then again we do have three guys over 87 overall and we made a blockbuster deal for trevor reza again i mean for god's sake they traded Ubre and austin rivers for reza and then still missed the playoffs well first round 
LeBron against Brooklyn. We knew it was on this team. It's 3-2. That's actually not that bad. Oh my god. We lost in game 7. Shaq put up 12 points and 17 rebounds on 4 for 10 shooting. What the hell is going on with this guy? And this is the same thing happened with Will. He'll figure it out. And they won the championship. Shaq averaged 15 and 13 in his first ever playoff run. Jarrell Martin retired. We drafted Juhan Beggerin. Second straight video he's in. Shaq's an 89 overall plus 5. He uh, lost his finishing badges. What the hell? I don't know. And he lost his... Whoa. What is going on with him? I guess he's revamping himself. I don't know. How can you take that much of a regression in year number one? We'll see what happens. Year number two. The all-star captains have been announced. Can we get Shaq this year? Still no Shaquille O'Neal. I think I just saw DeMarcus Cousins on there. DeMarcus Cousins is there. He's on the Utah Jazz. All right. Well, uh, I, I love Boogie. So, you know, good for you, my guy. But where the hell is Shaq? Oh, okay. He's averaging 21 and 12. John Wall and Bradley Beal are pretty good. He's playing a lot better this season. So that's all I could ask for. Has he got any of his badges back yet? No, and he's still dominating. So uh, I'm just ready for that to happen. Maybe 2K was telling me that I shouldn't have added badges to him in the first place. Then again, he lost some of the badges that I didn't even add to him. Luka Doncic, MVP, Rookie Rubio, MPJ, most improved. I kind of had a feeling Shaq would be on here, but I guess not. And Jim Carrey, coach of the year. Out to Boogie again. He made the All-NBA third team. No, no uh, Shaq again. Oh, there we go. Shaquille O'Neal, all defensive first team, averaging 21, 12, and 2.2 blocks. We are the sixth seed. First round against the Celtics, who have Bam out of bio. We lost 4-1. Shaq averages the same numbers, basically 22 and 14. He kind of clamped up Bam. Giannis, there you go again. I don't know why I said again. That's his first ring. The Spurs made it to the finals, led by Gordon Hayward. Trevor Ariza retired. Really love that trade, you know. Could have used Thomas Bryant off the bench, maybe. Shaquille O'Neal, 92 overall. Bobby Portis is back in town. And KCP, who went from the most hated to the most loved player this past season. Well, this season. It just doesn't feel like this season since it's been over for a month. Ah, there goes his finishing badges again. And a lot of silver defensive badges. He's becoming a defensive connoisseur. He thought he should have been DPOI, so uh, let's just get it this year. Season number three. All-star year number three? No, still no. It seems like we have a case of, you know, being held back by the team. Because John Wall and Bradley Beal are right there, you know? You see him right there? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Okay, there. Cool. Well, he is number two in DPOI, averaging 21 and 12. Like, John Wall, can you just, like, go already? He's a Shaq's team now. Move. Let me get these accolades. When I saw that he was drafted by the Wizards, the last thing I thought is that he would be held back. Well, he didn't win DPOI. Giannis is kind of good. Oh, yeah, I was actually able to fix Kuminga's name. What the hell? This is two straight videos where the game has crashed, and I wasn't even doing anything. Well, I'm back now. And for the record, Shaq made the all-defensive first team again. All I know is I'm the best defender in the league right now. There's no way to DPOI should not go to me. Well, yeah, average a cool, uh, same exact numbers of last as last year, basically. Better shooting, though. Uh, it's got a lot better since year number one. And even the free throw percentage. Look at the progression. Growth. First round against Atlanta. You know, the Trey Young guy. Light skin guy. Weird hair. Can shoot. And well, it's Clint Capella versus Shaq. Shaq, we don't bully Clint. His name is Clint. And we lost. Oh, the last game, Shaq kind of tried. He put up 27 and 14. He even shot 9 for 13 with the line, from the line. Pretty good. Oh, of course. We got cooked by Evan Fournier, though. And they got Obi Toppin and Pat Bev. Okay, you know what? This team is pretty good. I respect it. Shaq tried. Well, the Pelicans got a ring. Shaq almost got drafted there until they took. Who did they take again? All right. Anthony Edwards. Lou Will retired. We drafted J George Constantine. I just don't know. Why would they put the H there? Shaquille O'Neal. Officially the best player on the Wizards. Shout out to Bradley Bill. He's been a good counterpart, although John Wall's kind of annoying. How did I determine that? I don't know. He developed Box and Rim Protector Hall of Fame, which I'm pretty sure I gave him in the first place. Also has Clutch Shooter. Year number four. Brad Wanamaker's here. I wonder how happy Roy Hachimura is. Imagine a man blown by you on the right baseline, just knowing that he's going to get right to Shaq at the basket. What a comforting feeling. Shaquille O'Neal is uh, still not an all-star because John Wall and Bradley Beal are hogging the ball. And by the way, I have it on Shaq first scoring option and play through star. Well, I guess this is when you place Shaq in the modern day NBA next to Bradley Beal and John Wall. Guess what? He's a 96 overall and it's only year number four. He's got like 16 years left to go. Giannis, defensive player of the year. Shaquille O'Neal. This is a good place to start, I guess. Most improved player, Ayo Dosumanu. And coach of the year, Julian Newman's dad. So no all NBA team. We already know he's on the defensive one. And we're the fourth team. It's actually pretty good. Now I'll take a reduced role if we can actually make it past the first round. Well, uh, this team doesn't have Bam anymore, but oh god, they have use of Nurkic. We're up 3-2. And it's a game seven. Please. Just win. Okay, we won. We won. Shaq, 22 and 16 in game seven. That Oh my god, seven blocks? Well, he is the DPOY, I guess. Well, second round against Giannis. DeAndre Jordan. Move. Come on. It's 3-3. Three, three. Another game seven. Eric Bledsoe has another free throw. We're about to have a chance to make a game winner here in game seven. Oh my god, Eric Bledsoe missed the second free throw. John Wall. 
John Wall just turned over the ball to DiVincenzo. You gotta be kidding me. DiVincenzo to Giannis. Wide open midi. And he hit it. John Wall, I've been unjustly hating you this whole video. Now, I hate you. John Wall with the ball. Wall just completely does absolutely nothing and gets clamped up by Bledsoe. We just lost in game seven because of John Wall. Shaquille O'Neal, 24 points, 15 rebounds, 10 for 14 shooting. And Wall Giannis. Fantastic. And the Jazz won a championship. What are they let? Oh, wow. Bam left to another team. The hell? Why does nobody want Bam? Let Boogie go for Bam. Well, Shaq played pretty well in the playoffs. Draymond Green retired. We drafted Wilfred. Hey, look, our two drafting stash guys are both 79 overalls and are actually here now. That could help. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Giannis is pretty good, so I don't know if it'll matter. 96 overall. Five-year deal. 213 million. He's staying with a team that he kind of couldn't leave because he was a strict and free agent. Season number five. Ah, yes. More Hall of Fame. But Oh, my God. You got a lot more defensive ones. Even as Hall of Fame clutch shooter and Hall of Fame volume shooter. And another finishing one. Cool. Well, we're uh, 17 and 5. That's kind of good. Can Shaq finally make an all-star team in year number five? He did it. He's number one in DPOY again, averaging 20 and 12. He DMVP. He's a Lakers still, by the way. Shaquille O'Neal, DPOY, averaging 20 and 12. And two blocks. And one steal. Oh, coach of the year, Scott Brooks. He might be kind of chilling and, you know, averaging the third most points in his team, but at least we're winning, I guess. Still no all-NBA team, actually, but, um, you know the deal. We're the first seed in the conference up against the Sixers, who have that, uh, you know, Embiid guy. Well, it's two. 2-2. Oh, God. We're down 3-2 to the 8th seed. And we forced the game 7. Shaq, thank you very much. And we're gonna win game 7. Look at that lead. Shaquille O'Neal, 21-12 and 12 in game 7. He does have a Hall of Fame clutch shooter, and well, uh, he seems to be kind of clutch. Great defense, John Wall. Let Ben Simmons shoot 11 for 11. Still won by 24. And while the Brooklyn Nets have a uh, Zubak, Shaq win. Just, 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 oh my God. We lost 4-2. to Wait, what? They have Wiseman, but Zubak is starting? I was even benched for one game. Well, that team's scary, and they lost in the conference final. Shout out to the Hawks. They won a championship. LaMelo, how are you? Here's Shaq's playoff numbers. Post this on Ted Akumpo, retired. Shaq is a 97. He has like 10 Hall of Fame defensive badges now. He was an all-star. Um, this year, I'm going for MVP, all right? Cool, great. Season number six, Shimize Metu. He's playing 36 minutes a game. All-star year back-to-back. -back. Nope. Tobias Harris is an all-star, but uh, Shaq isn't. He's still, once again, number one in DPOY, but he's averaging 21 and 13. Shaquille O'Neal, three-time back-to-back-to-back DPOY. Wow. All NBA third team. Clifton Holland. A man named Clifton is playing better than Shaq. And well, uh, we missed the playoffs. Won 37 games. We have fake Mike Bibby off our bench. And now Colin Sexton's here somehow. And Bradley Beal's playing the three. No wonder. On paper, maybe we should have been even better than last year. But um, I don't know. Bradley Beal at the three doesn't sound like the greatest thing in the world. The Raptors got a ring led by Carl Anthony Towns. Shaq actually led the team in scoring this year. There was just so many people that had to score. I mean, John Wall doesn't even score anymore. Frank Mason the third retired. We drafted. Pete McLeod with the fourth pick. A 5'11 point guard. Shout out Tyler Eulis. Well, Shaq still got three more years left in his deal. John Wall's even worse. Colin Sexton's still here, actually. So, season number seven. He's still kind of just chilling for now, at least. We still got like, what, 12, 13, 14 years left. Hey, here I am in post commentary because the audio file crashed again, or whatever the hell you want to call it. So, let me make some things easy on myself so I get this video out today. This season's the season where a lot of things change. First off, Shaq's son signs with the team, Sharif. Shaq made the All Stars team, won another DPOI, and well, we were the second seed. We somehow swept every single opponent all the way up until the finals, and in the finals, we are playing Bam Adebayo and Roy Hachimura. I never realized Roy left and Bam has left too many teams, but the series tied 2-2, we won. And then, on the brink of a championship, we won again by 40. So, Shaq, in the end, well, not in the end, because, you know, video is still going on, still ended up getting his first championship earlier than he did in real life, and won finals MVP. The turning point of this video, now, can we do a three-peat? We'll just have to wait and see. Well, you know, Shaq got his actual only MVP in real life in his eighth year. Well, we're going into year number eight, and uh, John Wall is gone. James Nunnally is actually good. Took him until he's 37, but he's good. Good being 78 overall, but here we are. Shaquille O'Neal, 98 overall, going to year number eight. From John Wall to Pete McLeod. All-star team again. Yep, Shaquille O'Neal, three-time all-star. Shout out to Chris Middleton. I feel like he's been a starter throughout this whole simulation. Shaq's still the best defender in the league by far, so considering I just said that, he'll probably lose the award this year. What do you think? is different from Shaq to Wilt that allowed, you know, Wilt to be a little more dominant in terms of uh, individual numbers at this point. Let me know. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just go watch the Wilt sim. Luka Doncic MVP, like always. Rookie of the Year, Sasha Turk. And DPOI Shaq again, as he breaks the record. Five DPOIs through eight years sounds pretty good. Andrew Mason, Coach of the Year, he kind of looks like Dante Exum. Shaq still didn't make an All-NBA team. And we're the second seed again, up against the Sixers, so can we just beat them, please? Alright, we won 4-1. Second round against the Knicks. Who's on the Knicks? They had that center that made the All-NBA team over Shaq. They also 
have Jawan Evans and OG Ananobi is their best player. Okay then. And we won 4 1 again. Brooklyn. They lost somebody that I can't. Oh wait, they lost Kevin Durant. I was gonna say I can't remember, then I remembered. Oh yeah, right, that guy. And we won 4 1 again. Who the hell are we playing in the finals? Luca and Kadeem Allen. And oh no, Bowl Bowl. Okay, seriously though, Kaminga's kind of scary too. Um, 1 0, 1 1, 2 1 for them, 3 1 for them. Okay, well, it uh, looks like we won this game. That's cool. You know, we just need another two. This one's looking good so far. Okay, we did it. We won by two points. Thank you very much, Shaq. 23 and 11 definitely helps. We forced a game seven. Are the Mavericks going to blow a 3 1 lead? Oh, God. Here we go. It's tied with 53 seconds left in game seven of the finals. Shaq in the post against Porzingis. Shaq drops. Oh, wow. They're double teaming him. Shaq. Oh, God. Gets all the way to the basket and, well, uh, just to get fouled because he's Shaq. Here we go. Shaquille O'Neal, game seven of the finals. He does have clutch shooter. Does that apply to free throws? I don't know. He made the first and the second free throw Shaq at the line. He hits both free throws. Oh my god, this man's the GOAT. Luca screen. Luca step back three. He missed Shaq rebound. Out to Sexton. Screen. Down to Shaq. Shaq bucket. We have a four point cushion. 33 points on 14 for 16. Kuminga for three. He misses. Bowl rebound over to Luca. Luca wide open. He misses. We did it. Back to back Washington Wizards NBA championships. Bobby Portis holding the championship trophy for whatever reason in hell. And Shaq, he did it. Oh my God, who is that? Now he might have had, you know, so far a little bit of an underwhelming statistical career, but he's clutch. And he hit those two free throws. That's how you win a championship. Shaquille O'Neal, 21 and 11 in the finals. Can we three P? We'll just have to wait and see. I don't know. Daniel Tice retired. Shaquille O'Neal, 27 years old, 99 overall. And well, uh, he has definitely led, you know, on both ends of the floor, this team of Colin Sexton, Bradley Beal, and Bobby Portis to back to back championships. He's got one more year left on his contract. Season number nine. I just realized his son is gone. His son definitely wasn't even here last year either. I just didn't realize it. Shaquille O'Neal, four time All Star, one time starter. Here we go. Shaq is averaging almost 25 points and 14 rebounds with three blocks. Yes. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been. This is the Shaq we know. It took a minute, but he's here and he's top five in MVP voting. Doubt he'll get one yet, even though, you know, in his regular career, he got one the year prior to this year. We have 90 overall Tobias Harris now somehow. We traded for him. We traded a oh, fake Mike Bibby for Tobias Harris. All right. Oh, I did not see this. Shaquille O'Neal, four-year, $204 million extension on like the first day of the season. Can you blame him? I mean, he's won two straight championships here. And well, uh, considering the record, I mean, he has a decent chance of winning a third, but we'll see what happens. Luca, you've only won like 16 already. Shaquille O'Neal, DPOI again. The numbers are incredible, which I can finally say. Oh my God. From never making an All-NBA team to the All-NBA first team. Shaquille O'Neal. For the second team in the playoffs again, we have some pretty good luck with this. They have Sabonis, Donovan, Mo Bamba, and Kemba Walker still here. And we win the first round 4-1. Second round against the Bucks. Dante DiVincenzo, 93 overall. Somehow he always ends up good in these. I mean, you know, he could be good in real life too, but currently his potential is probably like a 78. It's 2-2. 3-2 us. And we win 4-2. Good, good. I'm scared to look at which Shaq's averaging. 25 and 13. Bobby Portis is our third leading scorer. And well, conference finals against the Pacers. They have Cade Cunningham, Barani, and Clint Capella. Once again, Shaq, his name is Clint. Just, you know, beat him down real quick. 1-1, one, 2-1, one, 3-1, one, 4-1. One. We're in the finals for the third straight year against the Mavericks again, I believe, right? Yeah, my memory was right. Oh my God. They have Sharif. It's Sharif versus Shaq in the finals. Let's run it back. Game one to us. Game two to, wait, no, no, it's the other way around. Why did I just say it to us? Either way, we're 1-1. 2-1. 3-1. Come on. Can Shaq do a 3P? Okay, well, not this game. Not this game. Definitely not this game. Kuminga dropped 47. Can Shaq win back-to-back 3Ps and back-to-back careers? Yes. We have done it. Shaquille O'Neal, in his second rendition of his, you know, NBA career, achieves the 3P a year earlier than he did in his actual one. With the Washington Wizards of all teams. No Kobe on this one. Just Bradley Beal and uh, Colin Sexton. Out of all things, I could have expected like, you know, six years ago when this team was doing really bad. It wouldn't have been this. It would have actually probably been the worst case scenario. Bias Harris, you can hold the trophy. You're kind of good. And let me not disrespect Portis. He's been pretty good all these years. And look who it is. Finals MVP Shaq again. He has now tied his three finals MVPs he had in his actual career. 21 and 12. As his son had 13 and 7 on 5 for 10 shooting. Oh, Shaq, thank you very much for the 22 and 12 a game. I wonder where Shakir is. 23 and 13 over the playoffs. And three championships. Now all we need is the MVP and other ring and then uh go from there i don't know we could beat out the first career james not only retired got that man two rings you know what's crazy
crazy? Like, Shaq is kind of just carrying, despite his numbers not even being too crazy. Although, we still got everybody. I feel like every career sim, we have to rely off, like, a second incredible superstar, and then they leave, and then we become horrible. But no, Shaq is Shaq. Six DPOIs. Season number 10. Shout out to Scott Brooks. He's done pretty well by us. So, we have George Constantine starting now, who's been our longtime draft pick that's been here. Shaquille O'Neal. He's actually back on the bench. But, I mean, it's cool. Somehow, he's a top five MVP voting guy, but, uh, you know, not a starter. Colin Sexton carrying the team in scoring. Yeah, why the hell not? As long as we're winning rings. We have another center, Okan Bas Basturk. Feels like someone that Shaq would bully in practice. I wonder why none of our players have won like a six man of the year. We either have Sexton or Beal off the bench every year. Giannis MVP again. Well, actually, it's just him and Luka. They, they kind of like rotate. It's a solid system. Rookie of the year, Nyan Yan Yang. I just don't know how to pronounce it. Oh, hey, it's our guy, Michael Bibby. Six man of the year. And DPOY Shaquille O'Neal. For the seventh time, I think. Coach of the year, Scott Brooks. 60 wins. Shaq is only on me third team. Like I said, as long as we're winning, I don't know. He wasn't even on a team for like seven years, eight years. I don't know how many years. And we are the first seed for, I think, the first time. Actually, no, I think the second time. We just sold the first time. And well, Shaq did a Shaq thing. My boy, Colin Sexton, shooting a lot, making a lot of shots. Wow, Toronto has Amani, Pascal, and Carl Anthony Towns as the eighth seed. All right, well, uh, can we win? 1-1. One, one. Slightly scared because we're down 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, God. We're down 3-2 in the first round. This would be the ultimate. I don't even know what the hell's going on. We're down by two with 34 seconds left. Okay, well, um, taking a little bit longer than, you know, I expected. Oh my god, Dim Woody, green light three. This is how we're gonna lose. Yeah, look, I, I didn't want to watch us just lose. Shaquille O'Neal, 16 points on 6 for 10 shooting as we lose in the first round of the Toronto Raptors. This is how you end a three-peat. Incredible. Uh, of course, the year we didn't make it, the Mavericks win. And the Raptors did actually make the finals. I knew this team was too good to be an eight seed. Shaq actually really did try to carry until that, you know, game whatever, game six, with 26 and 13 a game. Kadeem Allen retired. So wait, Kadeem Allen wasn't even on the Mavericks after all those years of losing to us. They finally won a ring and he wasn't there. That's sad. Shaq's still in 99, going into year number 11. Looks like Bradley Beal really is going to stay in Washington for his whole career. I'm calling a fluke. We're going to the championship again. I'm calling it. Wonderful if we get a team Shaq. Oh, he's a six-time All-Star off the bench again. Hopefully, Collins holding down the score again and he's not just... Oh my God. What the hell? Him and Collins just taking all the shots. Okay, Giannis. We get it. Henrik Walgren, rookie of the year and six man of the year. And look who it is. Shaquille O'Neal, eight-time DPOI. Mr. Newman's back and coach of the year. Shaq is All-NBA third team. He's still behind the guy on the Knicks. Actually, he's on the Jazz now. The second seed. Okay, here we go. Got a lot more luck with this one. First round against the Hornets. Can we just beat the Hornets? That'd be really cool. Oh, God, it's 2-2. Two, 3-2. Two. Two. All right, let me just know who's on this team. Um, We're losing to Kyle Kuzma. Just get it over with. Okay, 3-3. Three, three. End my misery. Thankfully, we're going to advance, but we don't look like the dominant force we once were, except for Shaq and Colin Sexton. I mean, Beal, you're still an 89, my guy. I know, like, back in the day, I wanted you to stop shooting. Now you can, like, start again. Oh, well, we're playing the Hawks, and I'm assuming, yeah, Trey Young's still here. Oh, my God, they have Trey Lamelo and, and Troy Brown. All right, well, it's not really much of an oh my god after that. We lost the first game, won the second, lost the third. Okay, it, it's 2 2. Oh, I just clicked simulate round and accidentally didn't click the circle button, so we won in seven games, thankfully. Shaq, thank you for always being clutch. And now, Boston. Do they, you guys still have Kemba? No. You have Jackson Hayes at the power forward? All right, please win. We're down 2 1. 2 2 again. Here we go. 3 2. Donovan, 33 points. All right, now we got to come back. Well, this looks like a win. We almost blew it. We got outscored by four, 18 in the fourth quarter and donovan dropped 42 but um we forced a game seven and uh oh god we won game seven wow pete mcleod you've been here for quite a while and i've never seen you do anything and well here you go averaging 17 in the playoffs and 37 on 13 for 15 shooting in game seven you're instantly a wizards legend just for that i would say being a wizards legend doesn't mean a lot but we won three championships and now the clippers who have jeffrey curry and bam what the hell why has bam been on 26 different teams we lose game one win game two up two one up 3-1. Well, it's a close game, and we kind of, you know, can win a championship here. They pass it to Rui, and then they just call- Oh my god, it's my 2K14 my player. We're about to beat my my player in the finals. Shaquille O'Neal. Oh my god. He has 47? Yeah, let's just not blow this game, please. Oh, we left the Rui wide open. I really don't want to watch the free throw game. Can we just... All right, here we go, Washington. I'm going to watch you guys. Your last attempt. We made both free throws. Rui goes left. Out to this dude. Why don't... What the hell? He just shot with one hand. And we got... didn't get the rebound either. Rui out to the guy with one... What? He made it. He made the shot. Why is Shaq taking up the ball? Why is Shaq taking up the ball? Why did Shaq just shoot? Just like that. The guy with the Kevin Duckworth release just sent us to overtime, which I'm not going to watch. Jesus, this one hell of a free throw game. Oh, I put the thing to a slowest speed and I still sim through. 
through it. We've watched three final celebrations anyways. I just watched all those free throws just for that. Shaquille O'Neal, 51 points, 18 rebounds on 23 for 26 shooting on Bam Adebayo's head. That's one of the greatest playoff performances um, ever. It's his fourth NBA championship at age 30 with 30 and 14 a game in the final. He did this in year number 11. Well, in real life, it took him until year number 14 to get his uh, fourth. Things went from going really bad to really, really well. Here's his playoff numbers. Tobias Harris retired. He tried to go to the Mavericks, you know, our former finals opponent to win a ring, but they didn't even make the finals. 99 overall going to year number 12. Our team, for some reason, looks a lot worse. We lost that point guard. I forgot his name. The guy who just saved us in a game seven. Yeah, he's gone. That's not good. But will that one point guard stop Shaq from making the finals again? Well, uh, I don't know. You tell me. They just moved Colin to point guard. Seems pretty logical. We have a 76 overall starting at power for this year, Jorge. And our bench is pretty disgusting. We have one point guard in the team. His name is Lothar. Shaq's an all-star starter again after a couple year drought. Michael Fredrickson, one-time all-star. Colin Sexton and Shaq carrying the team to a 37-11 record still. Oh, look at this. We signed Miles Turner. That's a lot better than the 75 overall. And we have Jalen Adams at point guard, who we traded for. Wow, uh, whoever the hell the GM is of this team, you know, in 2032, doing pretty well. Made the team a contender again in like with like four trades. Giannis, how many do you have? Eight. Mikhail Fredrickson, rookie of the year. And Shaq DPOI again, the ninth time straight. Lewis Reeves, MIP. And Scott Brooks, coach of the year, 64 wins, which I think is our most ever. Shaq's on the third team, perfectly fine with me. We're the first seed, obviously, because, you know, coach of the year. And well, this team doesn't have Lamelo anymore, but they have Gabriel Little and Malik Monk. Shaq, his name is literally Little. Bully him. Well, it's only three to two, but um, can we just, can we just... All right, cool. We're in the second round. Cleveland, the team that's probably really regretting trading Colin Sexton. They're, uh, they're not that good. We'll probably lose now that I said that. 3-2 and 4-2. We're playing Boston again, who still has Donovan Mitchell and uh, Jared Allen. 2-1, two, 2-2, two, two, and we're in the finals. Look at the team effort. Jalen Adams, our trade acquisition at 29, and well, Shaq is Shaq. I feel bad for Donovan Mitchell. He's been carrying the team for like 10 years. It hasn't resulted in anything. And we're playing the Denver Nuggets in the finals, who have De'Aaron Fox, Jason Tatum, and Bull Bull. I swear I saw Bull Bull on another team, more than likely, so he went back. Shaq is going to be matching up against one of his son's best friends. Sure, why the hell not? He's averaging 26 and 12 in the playoffs. So, first game's a win, second game's a win, third game's a loss, fourth game's a loss, the deciding finals game, like always, we, uh, we're, we're going to lose it, because Bo Bo and Tyron lose son, Jin. Are we going to blow a 2-0 lead? Yup. We have lost in the NBA Finals to the Denver Nuggets and De'Aaron Fox. Shaq's first ever finals loss, as well, uh, he had 18 and 14 on 8 for 10 shooting. Wesley Ellis Jr. tried to carry us. Well, still got two more years left in his, well, one more year left in his deal. Ayo Dosoma new retired. Shaq's still the 99, going to year number 13, the last year on his contract. But should he leave? No, probably not. He said he loves the Washington fans and the Wizards, so let's get a new contract over on the table. We once again have a trash power forward, but at this point in the video, we'll probably sign another one. Jalen Adams went down by like six overalls. Oh my God. We signed the man with the song, Mo Bamba. And Shaq just get more rings than he had in real life? Still an all-star starter, averaging 26 and 11. Shaq has re-signed with the Wizards, a five-year, $288 million deal, which will pay him $64 million when he's 35. How does our GM always make us so good? We have three guys that are 86 off the bench. And the first seed again. Now, granted, Shaq probably helps that out a little bit. Luca, how are you? Like it's been a minute. Has it literally just been Giannis and Luca? Like that's the first time it's happened. Hey, look, it's Michael Bibby. Shaq, DPOI for what, the 10th year? Yep. And Scott Brooks is coach of the year again. Shaq's an all-NBA third team, a pretty common spot for him at this point. And we're the first seed. Detroit, can you guys just allow us to, you know, walk through you, please? Cool. Thank you very much. Cleveland, same to you. Um, cool. Thank you very much. And New York, same to you. Um, cool. Thank you. Thank you. That was incredible. Colin is averaging 32 and 6 over the run. Forget Shaq. Um, Colin. Oh boy. Mikey Williams, Bull Bull, and Clifton Holland. And, and Jock Servin. Obama's still here, by the way. He's just off the bench. And well, game one to us. Game two to them. Game three to them. Game four to us. Game five to us. Is Shaq gonna finally do it? No, not yet. Got blown all the way the hell out in this one. Game seven in Washington. What's probably an incredible home court advantage by now. It looks like we did it. He's dribbling a lot. Well, he just turned the ball over. We're probably gonna lose now. Championship number five. Shaq gonna beat the red. Well, actually, no, he's not gonna beat Bill. But is he gonna beat Kobe at least? MJ? He's close. Player of the game, Colin Sexton, the god himself. 33 on 12 for 23. We love this guy. I'm gonna be an eternal Colin Sexton fan now. Oh, we just left some guy wide open for three. All right, can, do I have to watch this? Do you guys really care? I was not trying to watch more free throws. Colin Sexton, 33 points. Shaquille O'Neal, 22 and 11 on 10 for 16. The man has five rings. And his first ever non-final MVP goes to Sexton. 100 
112% deserved this because he's only been dominating here for like however many years. Here's his playoff stats. And yes, I'm talking about Sexton. Forget Shaq. Okay, I'm kidding. Yeah, cool. Shaq's good too. Oh no. Not that like, you know, he was having, I mean, he was still having a good impact, but yeah, he really was actually. But nonetheless, after five championships and uh, wow, 21 years with the Wizards, Bradley Beal's out of here. Hey, I'm not mad. That's one hell of a way to get out of here. I can't even announce anybody else. I just gotta, you know, pay homage to him. That's how you know it's serious. When I don't announce somebody random in the retirement, Dak is somehow still progressing at 32 in mid-range scoring, which is now a 40. Incredible. And well, season number 14. Hopefully we'll sign somebody else good because uh, we only have 380 overalls right now. Our GM always works it out somehow. Probably gonna miss Bradley Beal a lot. As of right now, uh, Aaron Holiday starting at a 75 overall. Shout out to George. Ended up being pretty good. Dak's a starter again. He was actually the first pick in the All-Star draft. Oh god, I'm scared to look at his stats. It's funny how I go to the DPOI to look at Shaq's stats nowadays because he just wins it every single year. 27 and 12. That's insane. Colin has never made an all-star team. The man carries us in scoring every single year. Our GM didn't really do anything except for get a power forward. We still don't have a point guard and we're 21 and 28. Clifton Holland, MVP. Might be the first non-Giannis Luka here. I don't remember. Rookie of the year, Dennis Kozlov. Mike Bibby, fake Mike Bibby, is winning every single six man of the year at this point. The bunch of different teams of that. Shaq, DPOY. I don't even want to know the total number at this point. Well, he didn't make an all-NBA team because uh, Marvin Bagley took his spot somehow, even though he averaged maybe his best numbers ever, at least in scoring. And guess what? We didn't make the playoffs. After all those years of being contenders, losing Bradley Beal did this much. Colin and Shaq both averaged 27 plus. Nobody else could average 11. That's just what happens when uh, you lose one of the best players of uh, well your franchise's history. We made way for the Wolves to get a ring led by Devin Booker. Too bad Cat isn't there anymore. Oh wait, what? Cat left the Wolves, went to the Raptors for like 10 years, and went back to the Wolves with D-Book. Well, uh, too bad D'Angelo isn't there. D'Angelo retired. The hell? He went back to the Warriors? Oh, Yusuf Nurkic is there. I see the appeal now. Drafted Omar Chavez. Jax a 99 still. The team is about the same going to your number, well, uh, 15. You think he'll make the Hall of Fame? I don't know. Uh, his resume's all right. Ah, uh, yeah. Starting point guard, Jeremy Craig. Can we please sign someone in like the first week that just saves the hopes of our franchise? Ah, uh, yes. Jeremy Craig. Jax still a starter. Well, we're over 500 this year. We have Scotty Pippen Jr. Starting point guard. That definitely helps. We also have Steph's son, Jeffrey. Luca, you're 36 years old. Relax. Howie Baker, six man of the year. Oh my God. Jack averaged 30 and 13. Somehow that was only good for the second team, even though we went DPOI. Uh, I guess Cat's kind of good too. We'll let it slide. We're the third seed. Good enough after not making the playoffs. We're up 3 2, and we won in game seven. Jack, 30 and 16, light work. The Bulls. Kobe White's still there. Why does he have like a field behind him? What the hell is that? Wait, do they just have a whole 90 overall starting lineup? Oh my God. What, why, how are we supposed to beat this team? We, we swept them. And well, the Sixers, um, they're up 2 0. 2 1, 2 2. Okay, we just came back from down 2 0. Can we just finish this real quick? Ah, uh, game seven, of, of course. And we lost. Jack tried. But uh, Josh Christopher and Ben Simmons, too much. And the Jazz, uh, well, uh, Mike Williams won a ring, averaging 34. Yeah, Shaq averaged 33 and 14 in the playoffs. But um, that's just kind of what you got to do when your third best player is Jeffrey Curry. Chimize Metu retired. Team is the exact same. Going to year number 16. Starting point guard, Frankie Landry. Didn't even realize Scott Brooks ever left. Team Ja. Do I need to announce that he's a starter? anymore. I'll just tell you when he isn't. Cool. Cool. Rookie of the year, Hamon Hernandez. Or uh, if you want to be really American, Jammin. Six man, LaMelo Ball. Shaq. We get it. Shaq's on the second team alongside Mikey, Zion, and uh, Doug Berry. And we're the first seed in the conference because we have uh, Javon Morrison and Jalen Suggs. Well, uh, Sixers, can we just win real quick? Uh, okay, cool. Thank you. Eat, you uh, oh my God, you have Ja. That's kind of scary. I'd really like to still win though. Um, Oh my God. We just blew a 3-1. Well, here's the playoff numbers. I like it matters because we'll uh, in game seven, Shaq tried, Colin tried, Jalen Suggs choked, and we got beat down by a guy named Chad, and they won the ring. Good job, Ja. Chad Price retired. Shaq's on the last year of his contract. He's still a 99 somehow. Like, I genuinely don't know how. The team's really old, but it's still kind of the same going to your number 17. Starting point guard, Burt. Can Shaq at the very least tie Michael Jordan? Ja Morant, MVP. Darnell Bellamy, six man of the year. And Shaq, the 14-time DPOI. They can't even list all the years anymore. They just kind of put the little hyphen. Speaking of that, that was a very good way to remind myself that I should probably put the hyphen in his name. In case you're new here, I can't get him confused with himself when he retires, like himself on the records. Because, you know, he used to be in the NBA once upon a time. And, well, uh, we won 61 games. I mean, our guy George isn't even starting anymore. We have Zaire Williams. So, round one against Detroit, we'll probably lose, right? Yeah, we actually did. I've never been less surprised in my life. I could just, like, I can almost predict 2K at this point. Am I becoming human 2K? Well, uh, Shaq tried. Colin's kind of starting to fall off and be old. But uh, just because I said that, please don't retire. Michael Fredrickson, finals MVP.
MVP. Nyan Nyan Yang retired. Okay, here we go. It's almost like a good feeling at this point. Because, like, I was almost scared that he, like, broke. Because he's 36 and hasn't regressed yet. But uh, here he goes. Still 99, though. Team kept some pretty decent players. So hopefully we can just, you know, win 60 games again. Did I never mention that he signed a new deal? I don't know. I think you kind of took that for granted, though. I mean, he's been winning, like, every championship. He still wants to be in Washington, though, for probably forever. I never thought when he got drafted to Washington that it'd be the right basketball move. Oh, Team Shaquille. Came kind of late, but, um, it happened. Oh, look at that, too. Colin Sexton. Of course, he drafted him, but two-time All-Star for him, too, at this point. At least he finally got recognized eventually. Oh, my God. After a long... 18 seasons Shaquille O'Neal got his MVP 29 points and 13 rebounds a game on a beautiful 65% from the line Shaq did it he is officially having a way better career than he had in real life of course he's DPOI too Dion Blunt coach of the year which is our coach obviously with the first seed can we not lose in the first round this year that'd be pretty cool um uh, thank you very much second round Milwaukee can you guys please move thank you let's try this again um yeah come on finals finals can we get number six I didn't even check the Warriors team. Why am I in Simcast? I don't know. It's only game number one. Well, we lost. All right. They have Fredrickson. They have Jerry Curry. So they got another Curry on the Warriors, huh? And they have Greg Brown and Alex Antetokounmpo. Okay. This team's pretty good. Wait a second. Lothar? That's the guy that I clowned earlier. He's a starting point guard for a team that has us up to or down 2-0 right now. Oh God. We're down 3-0. 3-1 and we lost. Well, Michael Fredrickson, um, you could have it, I guess. Shaq averaged almost 30 and 13 in the playoffs. And while Mr. O'Neal has not yet retired, the dynasty is over. Because Colin Sexton, after 20 years in the NBA, has called it quits. I swear to you, I have never wanted to become a fan more of a player after career sin. Brought Shaq to five championships alongside him. Oh, wow. He actually made the Hall of Fame. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, so I stopped at Sexton. I didn't go far far enough. Shaquille O'Neal. That is going to do it. After 18 years in the NBA and his first ever MVP has retired. And well, you know, there's a lot of incredible ways I could imagine going out in the NBA, but in MVP, your first ever, and you call it a day? That is the most Shaq way to go out ever. A lot better than going out in a, well, a reserve role in Boston. So Shaq finished his career averaging 23 points, 12 and a half rebounds, two and a half blocks, 61 from the field, 57 from the line, 1,000 and 156 double doubles and one triple double he had 17 hall of fame badges at retirement oh yeah i should probably mention this man went out as a 99 overall but when it comes to the nba records shaquille o'neal 25th all-time in total points which is more than what he had in real life number seven all-time in field goals made number 93 all-time in free throws made with 4425 number nine all-time in rebounds number two all-time in blocks behind hakeem 39th in steals 47th in minutes which is pretty low for a guy who's so high on a lot of these in the 55th most games played he had 28 40 point games and one 50 point game oh my god this isn't Shaq but um I kind of have to acknowledge that Kuminga dropped 80 in a playoff game he tied for the fourth most blocks in playoff history with nine he had the second highest scoring game in Wizards franchise history of 57 points most field goals made in the game look at Colin so inspirational couldn't beat out Walt Bellamy's 37 rebounds but he has every other top five spot so a career high 28 Eight rebounds even with being number two in blocks all time couldn't crack a top five spot he's manute bowl and uh javel mcgee that's ironic isn't it he had the most points in wizards franchise history in a playoff game we actually saw this game it was in the finals he had 51 tied manute with nine blocks in the playoffs six steals and well last but not least not even close to least one mvp five championships 13 all-star appearances two first team all nba two second team all nba five third team all nba 15 dpois yes 15 17 first team all defense one rookie of the year and one first team all rookie and well um is he gonna make the hall of fame we already saw this but i had to act like something was gonna be climactic he played less games than everybody here because well he only played 18 seasons when he could have easily went for like 21 22 but hey he did it the shack way number 32 of course retired for the wizards along with colin sexton's number four and well that's officially gonna do it this went from one of what i thought was gonna be one of the most disappointing career sims ever with these early numbers like you know in the teens and not really winning anything being on the wizards shout out john wall even though you were horrible all the way up to well um becoming one of the goats specifically in terms of the resume it's just insane so thank you for watching you have watched the other career sims let me know how this one stacks up against the others you can like and subscribe to the channel if you care about my channel at all let me know what you want to see next and i'm out of here uh